the lord is telling moses maybe i can bless your family man and bring forth the new generation but i am going to punish them so today we have to say as moses says to god what did moses say number 1 he says he understands the situation lord i understand what's happening today these 21 days you have to learn to understand your situation number 2 in these 21 days you have to understand god's anger don't play around with your life don't take your god for granted god tells moses and moses says lord i understand you are upset lord i understand not only the situation i understand you are angry you have given us a mission and we are not standing according to the mission number 3 moses also says lord i understand the consequence of sin of my people you as a father as a mother as a son as a daughter remaining in family staying in family each one of us have to understand how when my father is a drunkard how does it affect my family when my mother is busy with her own life or she is hurt and wounded with that how can she love my father how can she love us and the pain and suffering my dot my mother or my daughter or my son is going through if i don't address them what will happen to them this is the time of grace you have to understand tell moses and tell jesus like exact like moses lord i understand the consequence of our sin what's happening in our family number 4 moses says i don't want my personal gain lord you are telling me that my family you are going to raise up no he brings back the mission of god beyond his own personal gain this is the moment of grace each one of us basically running to god to get something out of god no this is the time to place the mission for which god has chosen you and me he has kept you as a father and your family the mission god has given to you or as a mother as a son you keep alive that mission more than above your own personal gain which is lurking in your heart i want to become like this i want to do like this people i want everybody to praise me i want the love of my husband i want the money many things are lurking in your heart this is the time to place the mission of god for you and for your family above your personal interest if i feel not feeling well i can go and have a drink you have a drink for 100 rupees 30 days is 3000 rupees if you would have saved those 3000 rupees how as a family you could have had every day chicken or you could have had every day a family you could have saved and given to some poor people that the act of yours will bless your family how what all the things god has given to you is being spent and lived so moses says lord i keep your mission you said in exodus 3 7 i hear the cry of my people who will go for us who will save them i keep alive your mission lord above the blessing that you give it to me let's destroy this people and i will raise up a new generation of you moses generation no lord i don't want that i keep alive the mission that you have given to me fifth he intercedes for his people saying lord 
How dare you can say, go and see your people. Are they not your people? Yes. This is the time we build up ourselves and relationship with our God. Moses teaches us how to pray to God. He says, Lord, they are your people. And you have sent them to the land of promise. And it, if you kill them here, destroy them, at the end of the day, it is the Egyptians, your enemies will have the last laugh. What are you doing, Lord? This is the time you build up yourself as an intercessor. Don't get stuck up to your problem, to your situation, to your weaknesses. Be aware of your strength, your power, and your God. And as Ezekiel 22 verse 30 says, you stand between God and your people and cry to God, intercede to God. Take all your issues to God and learn to carry your people along with you. Fourth, Moses says, Lord, after all, you are our father. He pleads mercy and grace. Yes, this is the time. We as a family, knowing each other's weakness, sin, we carry it together and seek God for his forgiveness and grace. Moses learns to take his people along with him as they are keeping alive the mission of the Lord. And in the gospel of today, is still more deeper. In the gospel of today, the Lord speaks about be aware of, I have given you six testimonies. So keep alive these six testimonies to build up your life. Yes. Number one. So the Bible kindly go through John's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 31 to 42. He says, Jesus said to the people, There is a testimony that speaks about him. What is the testimony? The testimony of the Father. If John's Gospel, chapter 5, if you go through verse 19 onwards, you will see, every day I go to the Father and my Father speaks to me. If you spend time with God, you will hear the voice of the Father. This is what Isaiah said in the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, Verse 20 onwards, though you eat the bread of suffering, the water of struggle in your life, your God, your Father will not keep quiet. He himself will guide you, direct you. My son, this is the way. My daughter, please don't do this. So this is the time Jesus says, I am sent here by my Father. So you should know the cause, the mission, the call of the Father for your life. Number two, he says, you send John to know me. John sent his disciples to tell Jesus, Jesus, are you the one, the Messiah, or we have to wait for somebody else? You go to the saints, you go to many people, you go for many things. He says, okay, that's not a problem. You send John but you should know how did John lived. Simply don't go to the saints and say, please pray for me, pray for me. No, I give saints to you. Jesus says, do you know who is John? John was a burning and a shining lamb. The oil that allows itself to be burnt gives light to brighten the darkness. If the oil doesn't allow itself to be burnt, it cannot give bright light. John is exactly the same. He was a burning light before the shining light. You in a family, when you come together, you should understand this. 
unless you learn to burn yourself like john you cannot be a shining light in the world so you got to be you can have the witness of john but you lived with him only for few days and afterwards john disappeared so you should know you should know to keep where the saints and where your savior in your heart